whitey. Now, we are bridge fishing today, but this is not the trestle. Kind of looks like it, but a whole heck of a lot shorter. This bridge right here, it's got about 25 foot of water, so we like to use the half ounce jig heads. And when you cast it out there, you gotta let it go way, way, way to the bottom. And you just sit and wait, sit and wait, sit and wait, sit and wait. It's probably a solid 15 to 18 count before you want to start beginning your retrieve due to how fact due to the fact of how deep it is. Once it gets to the bottom, it's just gonna be light little pops. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Oh, I missed it. My rag was set loose. Let's try that one more time. So this is how long you got to wait to get a bait down in 25 foot of water. So let's count it out. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And every time I pop that, I'm just letting more slack out. Fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, eight, about 18 seconds. Very complicated, but extremely effective whenever fish are in choke points like this right here. It's almost like a straight vertical jig. You can, you can Carolina rig when you're doing this. You just put a big heavy sinker up top and a lure Carolina rigged about two or three foot below the sinker. This is hard. You don't feel the bites too much. You just kind of go to jig and the fish is there. Got a whitey and that's what we're on right now these white trout they're ranging between about 10 inches and 14 15 inches fantastic table fare i'm gonna let that one go it's just a little bit smaller and we got plenty to eat but that's what's that's what you're going to see in these migratory zones these big passages that connect two big bodies of water these big deep passes is whatever species is in there they're going to take over they, you know different species different types of species migrate in and out it could be full of trout one day, it could be full of reds, it could be full of drum. It just so happens to be right now, it's a, it's a big wad of um, white trout. And I figured flip the camera on and let's go over some deep water jigging. And uh, I don't know if we've ever shot a 100% white trout video before. Again, white trout gets a, a bad rap for whatever reason. It plays second cousin to speckled trout, but it is, um, it's pretty similar fish you know they, they act very similar they fight similar i'd say white trout even fight a little bit harder and as far as the table fare goes they're almost identical Another whitey some nice size whiteys though but as you saw before or what we did in the last episode Pop corks all up in the marsh, had a nice little day, and then on the way home, ran into a flock of birds. Hit them birds to be continued, and that's what we started off doing this morning. On the way here, we ran across some more birds again, put a few in the boat, but I really wanted to go over some deep water techniques on fishing these major passes that connect Lake Bourne back to Lake Catherine and the intercoastal. Very effective places to fish, especially in the fall when there's a lot of, you know, fall, winter, when we get a lot of white shrimp in the estuary. That's what, that's where the birds are at. That's why they're out there. And this is the suction zone, the migration zone that they're going to go through is all these passes that connect the intercoastal into Lake Catherine. And a bite, just had a bite. There he is. Whitey. 
this one go. Keep the bigger one. Look at that bad boy. That's a nice one. trim tab whenever you're fighting big reds that's one of the number one things you want to avoid a lot of people are worried about the prop which certainly can cut the line trim tabs those things are like razor blades keep the uh keep that line out the trim tab that is the worst place for it to be beautiful red here whenever you fish it fight these big old reds in 25 foot of water it's a hustle it's a pretty one though look at this one guys oh woo. here we go i wonder if i was railing in a white trout and he ate it because it's been pure white trout so i'll mix up on the fight here oh look at that a little freckle belly Freckle belly. Trying to shoot a white trout episode and all the freckles getting in the way. We'll keep him too. But I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dockside TV. Catching white trout, deep water, deep water jigging using the pink champagne. If you want to get your hands on that pink champagne, make sure, make sure to subscribe to our Matrix Bait Box. That pink champagne is a fantastic color for deep water jigging as it's a very vibrant, a very vibrant color, gets the fish's attention. It's fantastic and clean, clean water. There he is. There he is. But I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Make sure to subscribe to everything, our channel, Metrics Bait Box. Get your hands on these pink champagnes we'll be sending out. And until next time, good fishing. We're going to get back on some more of these white trout. Look at the bottom, look at the floor. Filling it up.